The Kuwait National Development Plan sets the nation's long-term development priorities. It's organized around seven pillars or areas of focus for investment and improvement. Infrastructure. Develop and modernize the national infrastructure to improve the quality of life for all citizens. The National Library of Kuwait is an imposing edifice overlooking the Arabian Gulf Road. Located besides uh, the National Museum, this airy, beautiful structure which incorporates subtle adaptions of several key elements of Islamic architecture including a liberal use of the Arabsk as a significant national landmark. The vision is to consolidate the role of the library in preserving the history of Kuwait, illuminating its present and safeguarding national memory. The mission of the library is to be a beacon of culture and knowledge and the national civil center that encompasses and safeguards scientific, creative, and literary production. In 1994, by way of a media decree number 52 of 1994, the library was renamed and established as the National Library of Kuwait with the following main objectives. To compile, organize, document, and preserve Kuwaiti heritage and national intellectual production and property. To develop and collect all literature and information concerning Kuwait, its history, the history of the Gulf, and the Arabian Peninsula in both Arabic and foreign languages. To maintain and protect the rights of authors, inventors, owners of artistic works, as well as intellectual property rights. To act as the national center for integration within the unified the national index. To upgrade the performance of nationals operating in libraries and information center sector and to train them on the latest technology systems in the field of library work. To coordinate and cooperate with national libraries, research centers, public and special libraries, as well as concerned unions for the promotion and the common development of library studies and for the enrichment of library collections and technical systems. The Kuwait National Development Plan sets the nation's long-term development priorities. It's organized around five theme or desired outcomes and seven pillars or areas of focus for investment and improvement. Each pillar has a number of strategic programs and projects that are desired to have the most impact on achieving the vision of New Kuwait. From News KTV, a number of ministers confirmed six projects within the development plan will be completed in the first quarter of 2019. And from Kuwait account, six development projects to complete by 2019. For more information or details regarding Kuwait development account, please visit the website on the screen. Archaeological teams of the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan and the Republic of France discovered ancient artifacts in the desert of the eastern region of Jordan. The discovery led the teams to discover a civilization that used to inhabit that region. So the conference subsistence documenting uh, archaeological project in extreme conditions is one of the uh, Kuwait University uh, Museum of Anthropology and Archaeology activities uh, during the academic year uh, in Kuwait University in uh, collaboration with the French Center for Arabian Archaeology and Social Sciences uh, belong to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in France. Uh, we try to promote archaeology, heritage, culture, history uh, to the society, to our students by organizing um, uh, multiple activities during the year. Uh, this time we try to focus more on the extreme experience uh, faced by our colleagues, uh, Jordanian and French joint uh, archaeological teams in East Jordan. They tried to uh, discover uh, one of the oldest 
permanent settlement in Jordan dated back to 11,000 years ago. And it was found in the extreme uh, desert of uh, East Jordan. Uh, we try to bring this kind of experience to our students and our colleagues in Kuwait because we're going to face the same situation if we are going to dig uh, in Wad al Batin, in Abdeli, in any site in Kuwait or even in Arabia, which is a very extreme uh, desert environment there. The lecture that took place at the College of Social Sciences in Kuwait University included photos from the expedition and also hosted a discussion about the artifacts found. Moreover, the organizers of the lecture mentioned that they chose to have this lecture at Kuwait University to engage with the next generation of archaeology scientists.